Um, I'm not going to just keep talking, Rick. I'd, in fact, rather ask you, um, you standing by at the CME in Chicago. That was interesting yesterday, the immediate reaction we saw uh, to those numbers. And then throughout the, the, the rest of the session, it just kind of petered away across the board, right? The knee-jerk reaction didn't really last. Yeah. No, it didn't last. There's a give and take between what investors are highly confident is going to happen in the future and the notion that the Fed is going to stick to its knitting no matter what. And in addition to that, I'd like to point out something real quickly. If you look at the spread between U.S. 10s and European 10s, yesterday, Joe, it closed basically around 1% difference, 102 to be exact. That's the closest in nine years. Pay attention to that. It's important. And here we go. We're getting ready for jobless claims and our March release on the producer price index. Hitting the wires, 239,000 on initial claims, a little bit higher than we expected. And 239,000, well, it's just the highest since we had 246,000 the week of the 24th of March. And what's notable here is, is that how much higher all of these numbers are after last week's benchmark revisions. Continuing claims, 1,810,000. And that is lower than the 1,823,000 in the rearview mirror. And after those benchmark revisions where we couldn't get above 1.7, last week's 1.823 million happened to have been the highest since Dece of 21. Now, inflation numbers down half of 1% on headline PPI. Down half of 1% on headline PPI. That is a cycle low that usurps minus three tenths from July of last year. Minus one tenth if you strip out food and energy. Minus one tenth. Well, the current uh, last month at zero was the cycle low, so you could see we've taken that out as well. Up one tenth if you look at X food energy and trade, well below the three tenths we are expecting. Let's get into the one year over year numbers. PPI final demand or the headline number year over year breaches 3% at 2.7. 2.7. The high water mark there was 11.7 in March of 22. 3.4 if you take out food and energy year over year. 9.7 was the high water mark there. 3.6 if you look at X food energy and trade. All of these are significantly lower than the rearview mirror, especially after the revisions, which push those year-over-year -year numbers higher. Yields dropping, Dow futures rallying. Joe, it's all yours.